Leo and uh, Victoria Corin Mitchell's row has been in the news uh, this week. Uh, let's have a look at the video that got Leo into trouble. This is, uh, this is reported in uh, the Daily Mail and the Independent. So Naz- Nazanin Zagari Ratcliffe, which is Iranian for ungrateful. Uh, <laughs> she... She certainly split the room, hasn't she? Yeah, she has. She has. And, oh, uh, you know, so she, she had this press conference. Had a, had a right, right old go at the British government for spending, like, what was it, £400 million to and get she's her back? supposed to be a charity worker. So that joke led to this response from Victoria Corrin Mitchell, saying, if this stumbly, cackling, racist incompetence is what GB News puts out as a trailer, what on earth is the rest of it like? So let's hear from Leo himself. I think, Leo, it's your time to now justify why you think calling someone racist should be considered a hate crime. It should definitely be considered a hate crime. A hate crime is something that stirs up hatred or violence against someone. And uh, being a racist is, is one of the worst things you can be in today's society. Uh, and so calling somebody a racist, smearing them as a racist without justification stirs up that, that hate and violence against them. And I, I don't think there's as many racists around as, as there used to be. Have we, have we got any racists in tonight? <laughs> <laughs> See, no hands going up. And, you know, according to Twitter, uh, GB News is where they'd be. So, um, you know, I, I don't think it's as big a problem. But what there is is a lot of people wanting to accuse people of racism because it's an easy way to virtue signal and show that you're not racist and show that you're in line with uh, with woke values. Uh, so Victoria, you know, called me a racist. I wasn't being racist. I was crit- criticising a specific person. Uh, I didn't know she she was. I assumed she was she was British because uh, we paid four hundred million pounds to get her out of Iran. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was criticising one specific person. Victoria said I was conflating a negative uh, attribute like being ungrateful with being Iranian, and I, I wasn't. I was criticising one specific person and also Iran isn't a race, it's a country and it's a multi-ethnic country uh, so, you know, even criticising Iran wouldn't be, uh, wouldn't be being racist, it would be xenophobic or Iranophobic. Uh, and also I think woke people are the most racist. Like when Black Lives Matter happened, all my woke friends on Instagram were posting pictures of 58 books they bought on how to not be a racist and I think, I think most people can not be a racist by just not being a racist <laughs> if you have to read 58 books on how to not be a racist then you've got to be open to the possibility you might be a bit racist <laughs> fair enough good argument Leo curse everyone okay